All right, Shalaki Israel, the uh, last video, I mean the last verse I was reading, it, the video cut off. But it's 2 Maccabees 12 and 43. And when he had made a gathering throughout the company to the sum of two, this is talking about Judas Maccabees, man, 2,000 drachms of silver, he sent it to Jerusalem to offer a sin offering, doing therein very well and honestly, in that he was mindful in that, in that he was mindful of the resurrection. So was Judas Maccabees thinking about being reincarnated and coming back as a baby and not knowing who the hell he is? Or was he thinking about being resurrected in the resurrection of the Lord? Huh? So this is going into uh, resurrection, man. Right? Doing therein very well and honestly in that he was mindful of the resurrection man for if he had not hoped that they that were slain should have risen again it had been superfluous and vain to pray for the dead man so guess what man judas maccabees right he knew that uh, the resurrection was real man so why is people teaching um reincarnation when the scriptures speak about resurrection man all right Resurrection, it don't speak about coming back a million times, man. I got a million times to get this thing right, man. No, man. He said, unless you repent, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right? There's a resurrection for the wicked and the righteous, man. All right? It's, it tell you in um, Corinthians, man. Let's get Corinthians about the judgment after uh, when you die, man. It don't say you're going to be reincarnated. It says you're going to receive the things you've done, man. Right, so Paul is, uh, when you read verse uh, 2 Corinthians 5 1, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, right? He's talking about the angelic body, the heavenly body, right? For in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. So he's saying that they're desiring to, to get this spiritual body, man. All right. Which this body is not going to be given until the resurrection, man. If so, be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened. Not for that we should be uh unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life now he that have wrought us is self same thing as god who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit All right therefore we are always confident knowing that while we are home at home in the body we are absent from the lord right so he's talking about in this body because in this body you can't see the most high but in the in the um you know sheo Right, you can see the most high in Sheol. That's in the that's in the book of Psalms, man. David said if he make his bed in Sheol, the most high is there. So you can see the most high in Sheol, man. Alright, the most high his glory is everywhere. Alright. Uh let me go now. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Right? Wherefore we labor, wherefore we labor, that we, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of the Messiah, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. All right, so look, Israel, it said that you're going to receive the things done in your body. That's singular. It didn't say bodies for all you guys say you're re reincarnated 500 million times. It doesn't say bodies, man. All right, because if you've been reincarnated, that means you have different bodies, man. And in the resurrection, if you've been reincarnated 500 times, do that mean all 500 bodies is going to be resurrected? It's ridiculous, man. All right. It says body, man. You got one body, bro. That's sick. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Right. Now, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade man, right? Because the Lord can can uh, destroy you for the things done in your body, man, right? For the bad, okay? 
resurrection. Alright, he can send your ass to hell, man. Now let's go to some more resurrection verses. I'm going to some resurrection verses in the uh, the new covenant. Alright. We got a... Uh, I ain't going to read them ones. We got Matthew 27 and 53. And came out of the graves after his resurrection, right? You had people literally come out the ground, man. All right? That's resurrection. They wasn't uh, coming out of... Uh, they wasn't being reincarnated. They were coming out of the grave, man. And went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Okay? See the other ones I want. Uh, and that goes into the resurrection of the wives and all that. I, but they which shall be kind of worthy to obtain that world in the resurrection from the dead, neither married nor are given in marriage. Right? So that's talking about in the resurrection, there's not going to be any marriage because, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who, who fully makes the resurrection because there's two resurrections. You got the resurrection of life and the resurrection of of damnation man so after the resurrection is over then you know what i'm saying israel will be able to marry but in the resurrection you're not going to be married all right because that's the time of judgment all right uh it's like i gotta use the bathroom too this john chapter 5 verse 29 and shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation, man. So, if you're if you're being resurrected to damnation, there's no reincarnation in that, man. Alright, there's no, um, I'm going to get a new body and, you know, I'll, I'll be alright. No, you're finished, man. Okay? It didn't say, oh, you, you got another chance. Now you got another, you got another chance and you're going to get another body. No. It says once you hit that resurrection of damnation, you're going to hell, man. That's it. Let's, let me read it up a little again. All right. This is uh, John 5 and 26. For as the Father hath life in himself, so have he given the Son to have life in himself. And have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this. For the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves... Shall hear his voice, man. So everybody's in the grave is going to hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation, man. All right, so if somebody's damned, man, they're finished. They're going to hell, bro. It's just, there's no other way to put it. All right, so the resurrection is not... Um, being reincarnated with a with a new body, man. All right. As far as like a, uh, you're reincarnated and you just keep getting different bodies. No, when you're resurrected, you are gonna have that body that you're supposed to have, man. And you're not gonna get another body, okay? So all this reincarnation stuff is crazy, man. Let's see what Martha said. Let's see what Martha said. Let's see if Martha said that, uh, her, her, uh, uh, let's see who was she talking about. I forgot. I don't know if it's Lazarus or is it her son or something. But this is John 11 and 24. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So did she say that he was going to be reincarnated again in, in the fourth generation? And four generations down the line, he'll be reincarnated. He'll be back, brother, as a baby. And we'll all get to see him again. Did she say that? I don't think so, man. All right. Let's go to uh, verse 21. Then said Martha unto Yahweh, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Yahweh shall say unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Yahweh shall say unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yet shall he live. 
And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? She saith unto him, Yeah, I believe that thou art the Messiah, the Son of God, which should come into the world. So Martha clearly said that she believed her brother's going to rise in the resurrection. She didn't say he's coming back in the fourth, fourth generation down the line, man. Show me Martha saying that, man. All right. This is Mar uh, John 11 and 1. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. And it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. And when Yahushua heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Yahushua loved Martha, her sister, and Lazarus. Slotcha, I don't think I'm going to get into all this right now, but... uh. All right, I'll, I'll go to verse 11. It says, These things said he, and after that he had said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit, Yahweh shall spake of his death, so Lazarus was dead. But they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest in, in sleep. Then said Yahweh shall unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes, that I was not there to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let's go unto him. Alright. Then when Yahweh came, he found that he had lain in a grave four days already. So Lazarus was in the grave four days, man. Alright. And what she say? Then Martha said unto Yahweh, 